Okay. Thank you. Are you bailiff assigned in the courthouse? Am I what? Are you bailiff assigned in the courthouse? I am assigned to the courthouse, but I'm not assigned here. I just came here for a meeting. Which courthouse are you assigned to? The Hall of Justice. And what is your name? My name is Sergeant Dustin Davis. And your badge number? 1711. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. This is Susan Bassey, and this is a video that I hope will make the cop watching community proud because this is a Santa Clara County Sheriff deputy standing outside the family courthouse. He gave me his name, he gave me his badge number, and he didn't have to answer my questions, but he did. He didn't threaten the parents with arrest, he wasn't rude, and he didn't retaliate. He just went about his day, and we could get back to working on the lawyers and the judges inside that courthouse. Few people understand the difference between family court and criminal court, and even fewer understand that lawyers who have awards and wear suits and behave nicely in court actually have a culture very similar to that that we see with police. On Memorial Day weekend, a former attorney for the federal government, Catherine Kasanoff, posted some videos on her Facebook page, and then she had a planned medical procedure in Switzerland that she left for. Her videos, however, remained, and while all the writers in corporate media were on strike, some social media reporters got a hold of those videos, and within a few days, those videos went viral, showing us what attorneys really look like inside the secrecy of their home, thanks to Catherine Kasanoff. This is Alan Kasanoff, and he was awarded full custody of his children because the Miners' Council appointed in his case and all the experts and judges said he was the more fit parent to raise these three little girls. I hate you, Catherine. I hate you. I regret every minute of my life the fact that I met you. What's so remarkable about the videos of Alan Kasanoff going around the Internet are the fact that he is an attorney. And for those of us who have been watching judges and lawyers in family court for a very long time, we know that attorneys have a code of conduct and behavior exactly like we see with police officers. And when you're alone with them in their offices or when they're in court opposing you, they often act like an Alan Kasanoff. Now imagine that Alan Kasanoff is the attorney appointed to represent you in criminal court because you're being charged with a crime or that he's the attorney appointed to represent your children because you were involved in a divorce. And then imagine that in the course of doing that job, he looks something like this. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Take your daughter. Go in there and say you're sorry. No! Say you're sorry. No! Say you're sorry. No! In California, there are over 250,000 attorneys in the state, and they practice all kinds of law. Not all attorneys that practice one kind of law are very good at another kind. For instance, Alan Kasanoff, he's a civil attorney, meaning a business attorney, and he wasn't very good at being a divorce attorney, so he hired one. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Take your daughter. Go in there and say you're sorry. The man in that video is Alan Kasanoff. He's a prominent attorney employed with the law firm Greenberg Trellick, which has offices all over the world and employs over 2,000 attorneys. Alan Kasanoff didn't want to pay his wife spousal support, he didn't want to pay his child support, and he didn't even want to pay attorney's fees for his wife. So he hired a divorce attorney by the name of Gus from New York and Gus was paid over a million dollars to make sure that Alan Kasanoff got what he wanted in court, including not giving his wife access to the information or assets that he had in the Greenberg law firm so that she had to represent herself in court because she couldn't afford to pay an attorney. Every county has a Gus. In Silicon Valley, we had Brad Baugh, who was willing to lie in court and willing to keep his client secrets, even when those clients were attorneys who behaved like this. The next most important thing that happened in Ellen Kasanoff's personal divorce case was the appointment of minors' counsel. And unlike criminal court, where the public defender is appointed if you can't afford an attorney, in family court, judges can appoint attorneys to represent your children. They say it's in their best interest, but they don't really explain how that is, nor do they explain the work that the attorney they appoint will do. This is Carol Most. 
She was the attorney appointed in the Kasanoff divorce case. She charged over $270,000 for her services for less than four years of work representing the Kasanoff children. She saw the videos that the rest of the world has seen and decided that Alan Kasanoff, who paid 80% of her fees, was the best suited parent to raise the children. And he gave those three little girls full custody and control and put the mother on supervised visitation. I hate you. I regret every minute of my life the fact that I... People often think that when we report on family court that we're reporting on what happens inside the family home and the secrecy of the home, including feuding spouses. But that's not what reporting on family court is all about. It's about covering the fairness to each of the individuals who are involved in a divorce case and the fairness to their children. It's about looking for relationships that may sway legal outcomes in a manner that is not fair. Alan's wife was a federal prosecutor. She worked for the Department of Justice, and we're going to investigate her cases and his cases as well for how they may have been tainted by this conduct. All right, I'll be Shh, I'm sorry. Charlie, Shh, listen. Shh. Charlie, he's offering you an apology. Charlie, you just mind your own business? Jesus. Every county has a panel of private attorneys. These are attorneys that step up to do the job of government attorneys when the government can't do their job. And the difference between criminal court and family court is that when a judge appoints an attorney for someone who can't afford a defense attorney in criminal court, it gets referred to the public defender or the alternate defender's office and the director of that department chooses the attorney. In family court, Judges actually pick the attorneys, and they can pick their favorites and give them employment, because if the parents can pay money privately, the attorney makes more money than if the parents are indigent and taxpayers have to pay them. The other difference is that in criminal court, we cap the fees that we're willing to pay for a defense, meaning when taxpayers are paying for your defense, they want to make sure that attorneys are doing the work that they're paid to do. And if you're charged with a felony death penalty case, Taxpayers will only pay a maximum of $250,000. That's $20,000 less than Carol Most was paid in the Kasanoff divorce case simply to represent their children. Charlie, listen. Charlie, he's offering you an apology. Charlie, just mind your own business? Jesus, please stop it. These videos of Alan Kasanoff, an attorney with the Greenberg Trellick Law Firm, had been seen by numerous judges and court-appointed experts. And this is what his law firm had to say when these videos started to go out on social media after Catherine Kasanoff posted them on her Facebook page. It said, Alan Kasanoff has been involved in a divorce and custody matter that has been going on for more than four years. Now, first of all, the law firm doesn't acknowledge that four years is a very long time for a divorce case to be going on. It goes on to say, after lengthy trials and reviewing all the facts, including some videos, none of the four judges who presided over the trials or the two court-appointed neutral forensic evaluators found him to have committed wrongdoing or abuse as to the children or the contended domestic violence, and instead awarded him full, sole, legal, and physical custody of their three children. Nevertheless, the firm will be conducting its own investigation to determine his status with the firm. In the meantime, he is taking a voluntary leave of absence. This law firm allowed this attorney to do this to his wife. A wife who had worked for the federal government and a special counsel for the office of the governor in New York State. And yet the power that this man had as an attorney in the legal system was so mind-bending that he was able to force her to be self-represented, to take her children, to evict her from her homes, and to get a restraining order issued on her for a one-mile radius of his home and his business. I hate you, Catherine. I hate you. I regret every minute of my life the fact that I met you. And if I were to report that there were hundreds of thousands of people like Catherine Kasanoff, you might not believe me. But for those who have been in court opposing an attorney like Alan Kasanoff or who had an attorney appointed to represent their children that acted like Alan Kasanoff, you believe me. And so do these grandmothers who asked me to come down to the courthouse because they're from Russia and Ukraine and they're really upset about what's happening in American courts where they say family court is worse than Russia because they're taking children and these attorneys are being paid obscene amounts of money 
and their policing themselves. And the judges, who are supposed to be the gatekeepers for public trust, they're the ones causing the public trust to break because they're not disciplining these attorneys and they're not watching their bills. Instead, they're more interested in the cronyism and the friendships they have with the attorneys. And so it keeps going on, creating Alan Kasanoffs all over the country every single day. To illustrate the power that we have on social media, two weeks after Catherine Kasanoff defied a family court order and posted the videos of her husband online, he lost his job and the firm has announced that he's not going to be returning and that they've set up a trust account, which some attorneys say is a nothing burger for the size of this law firm. Too little and too late. It's time to focus on the lawyers and the conduct that they're unleashing on society and in the courthouse that judges and the state bars and other watchdog agencies keep ignoring because law firms the size of Greenberg Trellick should never have unleashed a man like Alan Kasanoff on his wife and his children or on the public.